Hey guys, welcome to the video tutorial for Exporter. Um, when you open the app, the first thing you're going to notice is the app is going to go right to the conversation screen. This is a conversation of all your, you know, the SMS messages that are on the device. Uh, if you want to switch to one of your other mailboxes, you simply tap on the drop down and then you'll get your other mailboxes. So we have an email account set up on the device. And this is our pin messaging. So this is pin to pin messaging. This is not to be confused with BBM. Uh, the app does not support BBM at this point. Uh, so, you know, we have the pin messaging and we have, let's just say, any other email accounts that we may have set up in here. Uh, for now, we just have one email account set up. Uh, what we have in these are actually actual conversations, and this is the number of messages that exist in the conversation. Uh, so, for example, let's just say we tap on this one. That'll open up the conversations view with, uh, you know, that specific user. Uh, we can also, if you want to directly, you know, export the, uh, if you want to directly export the, the conversation, we can do that as well by pressing and holding on it. And then, you know, we can go export TXT and that'll actually export the file directly instead of having to go into the conversation. Um, what we can do, so let, let's, let's run down a, a bunch of uh, what, what, what changes here. Um, so let's just say if you wanted to actually copy certain files here, you can go tap, uh, sorry, for certain messages, we can just tap those specific messages we want to copy. And then we can go, uh, let's just say copy and that'll copy to the clipboard. We can also share those messages. Um, so if we hit share, uh, now we can actually share that to, let's just say, the Remember app or something. Uh, that'll actually share just specifically those messages. What else we, we can also do is we can actually share right to the file system. So we can write a file with just two contents. We, we just hit uh, export her in there. That'll actually let you, you know, put whatever message you want, uh, something like that. And that'll actually save that file with only those two specific messages in there. Um, now, there is another really cool feature. What you can do is you can actually, let's just say uh, we're in this message, we can now select a range. So let's go range select, tap, tap, I'm oh, sorry, did that wrong there. So right here, range select, tap, and tap, and that'll tap, you know, that'll select everything in between. So, uh, you know, now if you have a whole bunch of messages, let's just say like 70 messages, and you only want to select, let's just say, between, you know, the second one and the second last one, then, you know, you can do that really nice range select feature that selects everything. And then, you know, you can proceed to doing uh, copies or whatever it is. You know, of course, there's also the, the, the select all. So if you're here, you can easily just go select all and, and, you know, it'll select everything. There's also save all, which is that, you know, if you, if let's just say you open up any conversation and you don't really care about picking specific ones you can just hit save all and then you know that'll actually just save the, the, the file as uh you know that'll actually save them and the, the file as whatever uh with all the messages in there without you know specific ranges uh, and as you can see we can also just do press and hold on it we can go select more and we can uh, export specific conversations as we want by going to export txt um so let's go ahead and just do that for an uh, for an email address for example so sorry an email uh so let's just say if we wanted to export uh, i don't know this email we press and hold on it go to export txt and we simply just hit save and that'll export it now what's interesting here is now you know let's have a look at actually what is the thing that's being exported so if we open up we have our this application here called Notepad Plus. In Notepad Plus, what we can do is, uh, you know, you can download this app for free, by the way, Blackberry World is another one by Canada Inc. So this one has a bunch of the other, uh, you know, uh, the other uh, um, file system, uh, sorry, the other values in the file system. What, we're gonna, I mean, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to delete all of the things in the file system right now, uh, just so we have a fresh start. So I can show you um exactly how those are going to be um like you know just how everything is so i'm just going to delete all these okay and now i'm going to just going to generate one of these things again so let's just say i wanted to generate this one right here so i'm going to export as text save that saves it to the file system uh, i should be able to open this here and as you can see, right, it was, uh, the, the file was exported, but just very properly. And you have exactly, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the, the message in there. Um, now let's look at something much more interesting, which is the, uh, you know, we can actually also, by the way, uh, you can also export these things, not just as text, but you can also export them as comma separated values. Now that's a purchasable feature. So you can just go to the purchase tab, tap on CSV exporting, 
uh, and then you know your payment system is going to come up. Now this is just this just simulated a purchase. So from here we can actually now just press and hold after after you purchased it. Of course you can actually just hit export CSV, save that, and that should save it as a as a CSV file. What you can also do is you can actually tap on the tap on the, the file itself. You can hit save all, and you can now you have the CSV option, so you can actually just save right from there as well, and that'll that'll save it as a text file. And now. Uh, now, finally, what you also have is the support for multimedia. So if you're, you know, for example, we have this specific message uh, in here in 1914. This one was uh, is a multimedia message. It has, a, it has some voice notes. It has a bunch of other stuff that, that, it, you know, it, currently, that it currently has uh, attached to the message uh, for multimedia message. Now, by default, you know, this is, a, this is another purchasable feature. So by default, the app it won't export multimedia messages. But if you go to the purchase tab, and you tap on MMS support. This is another thing you can purchase, and it's 99 cents only. You simply hit OK, and that'll now give you support to actually export multimedia messages. So let me show you how that is. Uh, if you open up, I believe, the file manager. Yeah, see, the file manager doesn't really work on this uh, on the simulator. Uh, well, hope I can show you another way. Just say open up pictures. So see right now there's no pictures in the in the, in the device. But if I now go um, export TXT on that specific message, and I hit save. That'll actually save all the multimedia on that message as well. So you should now in the pictures app be able to see there's one of the pictures that that's part of the, the message. Uh, let me see if I can open up the file manager again. Yeah, fortunately, so the file manager doesn't work on the simulator, so uh, let's not worry about that one. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, it actually exported all the, the multimedia that was associated with it. So, you know, that's a purchasable feature. You can do that. A really nice, easy way to export your messages when you just go and run the app, select all, and just export as TXC or export as CSV, as whichever it is that you want, and it'll export everything. Uh, some of the other stuff in the app, if you press it, if you swipe down from the top vessel, you have your menu here, you can hit the help. And that gives you the you know the, the help. Uh, you can actually contact us and support at CanadaInc.org. Uh, you also have uh, the bug reports. If you find anything or, you know any issues with the app, you can hit our bug reports. You can also go to settings here, and here you can customize a lot of the stuff on the app. So here, duplicate file behavior. This simply says if the file name already exists that you're about to export, what do you want to do? Do you want to overwrite the file or do you want to append to the file? Uh, I usually keep it at append because the thing is, you know, I can, let's just say I can periodically do my archiving of my SMS messages and my and my email messages. This way it just keeps adding to the same file over and over and then I have a nice long list of file uh, of the same, for like, you know, all the messages organized into one file. Uh, what I what you also have is the message time format. Do you want to show a time, uh, you know, in, in the beginning of the message? Uh, does it, you know, do you want it to be just the time? Do you want it to be the date or do you do not want show anything at all. Uh, the third thing here is that what do you want your name to show up as? So if you're messaging, it's you and somebody else that you're that you're messaging between, uh, you know, you can set your own name here as, you know, I don't know, John or something, if that's your name. And then it's going to so, show, you know, John sent uh, hello. If you, if you send a message hello and somebody else, their name, if they sent the, the reply. Double space is simply, you know, do you want the, the the, the, each each message be, to be double spaced in between the other messages. Uh, latest message first and user use server timestamp. This is about uh, when you're here into uh, into the message list. These timestamps that show up, do you want it to be the one uh, that's one that message was received in the device, or do you want it to be when it was you know the, the recorded message on the server? When, when the server or your carrier received that message or your, you know, your mailbox, your email mailbox, do you want it to be that one? So you can check that one. You can also use latest message first. So right now, as you can see, uh, from, from here, uh, you know, 347 a.m. is the first message and 344 a.m. Now, if you want to be the other way around where you have the earliest message first, you can just simply hit that. You can hit back and that'll, you know, you have yours is the other way around. And that's really it. There's not really much more to the app. Uh, you know, we, if uh, at the, if you have any questions, you can always send us a, an email at supportcanadainc.org. You can join our BBM channel. In our BBM channel, you know, you can uh, uh, you can uh, you know you can ask questions. You can ask us to start a chat with us. Uh, if you like the app, if you enjoy the video, or you, you know you like the customer support, please do leave us a positive review in uh, in BlackBerry World. You know, if uh, just it'll just take a minute, one line, whatever it is. You know, if you like the app, please do leave us a review. Uh, it really does help us help support us. Um, and yeah, if you have any other questions, please do reach out to us. We hope you enjoy the app. If you have any, if you, if there's anything else we can help you with, do 
do uh, send us a line. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the ad.